Hey guys, Dean here. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video. It's actually going to be a tutorial on the game Teardown, which is very much like Minecraft. So Teardown is basically like Minecraft, but with destruction physics. And there's actually a proper campaign where you have to do heists, break into buildings and take items and basically do a series of tasks. It's pretty cool because you can use a series of different weapons and demolition pieces to actually destroy the whole map, which is entirely destructive. So Teardown is actually awesome, but you can actually install mods for it, which makes even more awesome. Now I'm going to be going through three different methods which is kind of just two different methods on how to install mods. So this isn't just the most basic step which is Steam Workshop which most people can do although I am going to cover that. This is also how to install them manually off the web off internet websites if you want to get mods which aren't available on the Steam Workshop. So let's jump into it instead of doing a crazy long introduction because that's not necessary. So we're going to start off with the workshop method, okay, which is the most simplest. So all you would do is you'd go to your Steam library and find where Teardown is in your list and you would click on workshop here. This is the quickest way to go to the workshop. I'm not going to tell you which ones to install because that's kind of stupid because you can find your own mods, but... I would recommend just click top rated all time or most popular just to find the best mods and we can go through and install some of them. Now if there's a tick here this basically means you're subscribed to the item. You have to subscribe to all the mods on the workshop which will then in turn download them so you can use them in game. Well, there's some really cool stuff here so I'm just going to go through and see which ones which I think personally look really cool. There's so many different mods on the workshop to choose from that you'll probably be looking through and scrolling through for hours to actually find what mods that you actually want to use because there's some really cool stuff that people have posted here. Now, there's a combination of, I believe, maps, weapons, vehicles, and general assets. Now, what I personally think is the best way to sort it is the most popular and just do something like the last three months or six months because then that has a lot of data from people rating the mods so it'll show you the best ones and we can go ahead and download some of these mods now i'm going to go on this one which is this destructible house because this looks like it'd be a pretty good test map to use a lot of weapons on so you would just click subscribe on this so we're going to go down and we're just going to subscribe to a few just so i can show you how the system actually works itself we're also going to go ahead and download this creeper facility because why not install a minecraft based map when we're doing a teardown video on a mostly predominantly Minecraft channel. So there's loads of cool utilities. This Iron Man Mark 3, this looks absolutely awesome. So we'll install this too. And then we'll go ahead and install one more just so we have a fair basis of different mods to actually choose from. Now we've already installed a map, so I'm not gonna go ahead and install too many maps. TV Zombies, sounds pretty cool. So we'll just go ahead and install that. And now what we're gonna go ahead and do is go back to the library and you'll see Teardown will basically validate and install some content, okay? But we're just gonna click play and we're gonna launch it just to test if they've shown up in game now. Okay, so now we're actually on the main menu. So all you need to do is click play and then you can click on mods. Now, the reason why we're doing this is it will give us a mod menu. Now, these mods are made with Lewis scripting and a special voxel modeling program in case you want to actually make them yourself. But we're talking about actually enabling the ones we subscribe to. So if you've used the workshop method, it will show the subscribed list over here. The local files list will be what we're going to use when we manually install them off the website a little bit later. Okay, so under subscribed, you'll see all of these mods that we've got and you'll see that i've actually only enabled a really small portion of them which i've actually been using but we've got a tv zombies mod over here which we can click play on and a few different other ones you'll see that some of the mods which we go through have different options so for example the portal gun it has an enable and disable button this is one other mod which i downloaded completely out of context from this video weapon mods and things like performance mods and things you install have an enable and disable button because they're just weapons and utilities but when you actually go to map mods you will have to just click play because that's how to launch the map itself so let's just go through and find what else we just downloaded iron man mark 3 will enable this half-life sound effect will enable that as well because i downloaded that recently and i want to try it out and i believe that's everything which we downloaded which wasn't a map so now we'll just click play on this tv zombies map and we'll just test it out just quickly for a few moments just to show you that this method is actually working and then we'll jump onto the web-based methods and we'll be trying out a website called teardownmods.com and a website which is the nexusmods.com on the teardown page. Okay, so on this map. Now you'll see the frame rate is pretty awful on this map. This is because I am recording with display capture on OBS, which is my recording software. So it makes the FPS in game look really bad on video. And also this is a pretty laggy map. And I'm just gonna quickly show you. So we can click on modded and this is the Iron Man armor. So you can see, we now have the Iron Man suit and all the abilities and lock-ons and everything which you want from the Iron Man thing. So that works. The portal gun we just enabled, we'll just test this out. This can open portals and we can jump through them. 
which is a little bit buggy, but <laughs> it works. I think that's everything we enabled. You probably won't have the special menu. I think that's a different mod. We're just gonna go back to the main menu. You've seen that we've loaded the map and we've tried out one or two mods, which we just installed. So that's the workshop method. So now we're gonna go off this and we're gonna jump into the web method. So the first one we're gonna use is actually teardownmods.com. Both of the websites, if you wanna check the catalogs and mods, they'll just be in the description. So you can try those out for yourself. And we'll head onto this, this mod website. Browse and then downloads is where we want to be. And on the right hand side, we have our categories. Now I'm just gonna go to the top downloads and just press all. It shows us the content which has been downloaded the most, like this White House map, which looks pretty cool. And this functional weapon pack, which also sounds equally just as cool. And we can preview all the images on this just to give us an example of what we're actually getting into. It will also show us install instructions too. It'll show us basically how to install everything, which is just the same method for everything. Now to actually download things off this website, you're gonna have to create an account. So I'm just gonna quickly create an account. This is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm gonna skip this step to show you. Okay, I've actually validated my account and signed up now. So you'll see when you do this, you don't have to click this public download link anymore. It'll show a download link on the right-hand side. So let's just download this White House map again, but we'll use the membership download now that we've registered. And this should actually make it install straight away. So now we have the whitehouse.zip downloading, which you can't see because it's behind my camera, but we've now downloaded it. So we'll now go into our downloads folder. And what we want to do is we want to click on this whitehouse.zip and press cut or whatever mod you downloaded. And we want to go into my documents here on PC. And when you go to my documents, you want to go down to teardown. You want to go to my documents, you want to go to teardown and you want to go into mods. And then we're just gonna right click and press paste. Now we're gonna also extract this with whatever extract you have. And we should have the White House in here. Now, I believe you need the base folder in here. So I'm going to just cut this again and paste this in. So it overwrites this folder. So then we have one folder with all the files inside because I think this is how it needs to look. And then we'll delete the zip file. And now we will go and test it in game. And hopefully now we should have the White House map file we've just downloaded and we should be able to test it out. Okay, simple test. We just press play. Mods here under local files, we have the White House. So you can see it's been installed appropriately. And we'll just click play just like we did before with the workshop method to make sure that everything is installed correctly. Boom, so we have a new White House map. This is actually running with much better frame rate than the last one we tried. Hopefully it should <laughs> show pretty well in the video. Boom, we are on nexusmods.com. So very same procedure. We're just gonna find a mod and you can see the latest mods here. We can sort it by the most popular in the previous 30 days or the most popular all time since they've been uploaded. Now, like I said before, I really like the idea of installing Minecraft based things on this channel because it's a mostly Minecraft channel. So I want to appeal to everyone who actually subscribes for that reason. So we have this map. So this is a map mod called Minecraft Small Town. You might not be able to see behind my camera, but if you can, there should be a download button and you wanna click on manual and this will take you to the downloads page and you want to download the newest version. So we're gonna download the village map 1.3 press manual download and press on free download or you can use premium if you have nexus premium which i actually think is a pretty good worthwhile upgrade especially if you're installing a ton of skyrim mods on nexus mods it's actually quite good to get the premium membership i did try it out once and we're just going to wait for the download to finish and we shall install this minecraft small town mod which is based after kind of like in minecraft npc village okay in our mods folder now let's go back to downloads and install exactly the same so you've seen me do this if you watch the uh second method here but i'm going to right click on this village map cut it and paste it into this mods folder and right click and press extract then i'm going to press on delete and i'm going to cut the folder from within here and paste it in here then this original folder that's now empty we'll just delete this because we don't need it and we'll go back to steam and we shall try out the map in game so now we click on play and then mods and um, we'll test out if we have this Minecraft town map, which is in the local files, meaning we didn't download it from the workshop. Now, the downside of this particular mod is it's a little bit glitchy, I guess, the mod I downloaded, because it doesn't have a direct play button. It has this button where it says publish. So that may be a bit of a problem. So that is how to install using both websites and also the Steam workshop method. It's kind of two methods on manual installation, automatic subscribing on Steam, and just how to use the three different platforms in general. 
download. Some mods you install may be outdated and may not work, but it's all the same fundamentals in terms of the steps of installing everything. So if you have any questions, do let me know them down below and I will try my best to answer them and get back to you. And also let me know if there's any other websites or platforms to install mods from, which I didn't cover in this guide. And for more teardown and Minecraft mod videos, make sure to subscribe. Oh, 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 o